Hello Scorpio, welcome to another love reading. We're going to be uh, looking at what's going on in your connection at this time with the particular person that you're thinking about or connecting with. And then we're going to look at how you feel about each other. What are you thinking about each other or the connection? What messages do you have for them regarding love? What's going on for Scorpio and love? Wow, starting off with the Two of Cups. And the Three of Swords, of course. <laughs> it can never be a simple thing, right? Like, at least not in my channel. We'll see what that's all about. Two of Cups, Three of Swords. What I'm thinking is like, st starting off the bat, I'm thinking this is a soulmate type of connection where there's been pain and difficulty here. Maybe tough conversations, disappointment. Let's see, what else for Scorpio? What's going on for them in love? Ooh. Four of Cups, yeah. Boredom, dissatisfaction, something's not quite right here. Okay, we have the Emperor reverse. I'm still learning this deck. Aries energy. So something here is um, not really working out the way that you thought. Maybe the situation has gotten out of control or you feel like this is not within your power to, to control or something's out of control. We'll see. What else for Scorpio? Anything else? What's going on? And then for love, Page of Pentacles reverse. So this is a very strong connection that never really, I, I feel like it hasn't really been solid. Queen of Pentacles reverse. This is someone that hasn't been able to give you anything, Scorpio. Not anything really substantial. There could be some sort of block here. Let's see. Tell me more for Scorpio. Tell me more for Scorpio spirit. Let me clarify what's going on for them in love. Tell me about this three of swords. Why is this Three of Swords here? Three of Wands. What about the Three of Swords? King of Cups. I feel like you've been waiting for love or waiting for your person. Have you been waiting for your person? Yeah, and this is making you very unhappy. It could also be that you probably sent a message to someone or were expecting something in return from someone else and it, it was a disappointment with the Three of Swords. Something didn't happen here, Scorpio. And it was regarding someone you loved. An offer. You've been waiting for an offer? That's probably taken a long time. Tell me about, and I feel like while you've been waiting, you haven't really been open to other things. Tell me about the uh, Emperor Reverse. Why is the Emperor Reverse? It's way too many. Why is the Emperor Reverse? This deck feels so heavy right now. It just feels like very clunky and heavy. me about Aries. Not Aries. Temper reverse. Some of you are definitely dealing with an Aries. I don't know what's going on with my deck right now. Some of you are de definitely dealing with an Aries or someone with Aries in their chart. Something is going on here. Tell me about the Emperor reverse. 
Why is the Emperor reverse? There's fear here. Someone hasn't... Something to do with the past. With the Six of Cups. So what I'm picking up here, someone hasn't been able to get something done, restabilize the situation, make something happen due to fear. Maybe they've, they're stuck somewhere. What's this? Yeah, this is about someone wanting to express themselves. They haven't been able to express themselves due to fear. This could be you or your person. There's something holding you back. And again, a Six of Cups card here. This is a soulmate. Very strong connection here with the Page of Cups um, and the Six of Cups. So this is about like expressing yourself to someone from the past or to someone like you have a very strong connection with. But I feel like there's fear here. I feel like someone has been waiting for a certain cup. And it's like they, they don't care about any other cup but this one. So why is the Queen of Pentacles reverse? Why is the Queen of Pentacles? Two of Pentacles. Why is the Queen of Pentacles reverse? So this person that hasn't been able to give anything, they have either a lot on their plate or they're juggling more than one thing or one person. There's no progress, probably not a lot of communication. Something is at a standstill here. get one more for this queen of pentacles got the star aquarius energy yeah this is what i'm picking up it's like even though things haven't worked out exactly like either you expected scorpio or your person expected um there's been disappointment there's been things that haven't really been able to progress someone's been waiting for an offer that hasn't arrived and even though this other person isn't able to give them what they want, they still have hope that it will happen. And it, yeah, they still have hope that this is going to happen, but someone's not moving. And possibly not communicating. There could have been um, verbal conflict or fights or something like that. Um, there could be uh, an interference here. Because I have a Queen of Pentacles reverse, King of Swords reverse, King of Cups. I have three people here. Not to mention a Page of Pentacles and an Emperor, so, and a Page of Cups. So I feel like there's, there's multiple people here. So how does this person think or feel about you? I'm going to be using my new Secret Moon Oracle deck. This is out now. Link down below if you're interested. How is this person thinking or feeling when it comes to Scorpio? You could be dealing with another water sign here, an Aries, an Earth sign, Aquarius, or an air sign. But it doesn't have to be. Those are just the signs I see. How is this person thinking or feeling when it comes to Scorpio? I wasn't ready. What are they thinking or feeling when it comes to Scorpio? I want forever with you and I want a second chance. I wasn't ready. I want a second chance. I want forever with you. So this is, again, something that hasn't really taken place here. Like, this hasn't really progressed is what I'm picking up. Almost like um, this person wasn't ready for the real thing or the real deal or something like that. Let's get more information about... Tell me more about what they're thinking or feeling when it comes to Scorpio. What are they thinking or feeling? So, angels, guides, what are they thinking or feeling? I keep seeing that moon. What are they thinking or feeling? When it comes to Scorpio or this connection, tell us more, Spirit. What are they thinking or feeling?
Queen of Pentacles shows up again. Queen of Pentacles is very generous. Typically, she's already in a long-term commitment. She's business savvy, dependable, very practical energy, very successful. The tower. What are they thinking or feeling? I feel like they view you as this Queen of Pentacles and they cause the tower possibly here. Overcoming fear. So I feel like your person's probably the one that was feeling scared about approaching you or you know that page of cups so when this person thinks about you they think about a tower something unexpected something shocking that happened between you could have been a breakup something that was a shocking revelation unexpected event something happened between you and by the way if this is resonating scorpio let me know down in the comments if this is resonating i love hearing from you all i can't um respond to every comment but i do read them all i feel like they think of you as this queen of pentacles someone that's very giving very stable tell me more about this queen of pentacles tell me more about this queen of pentacles yeah empress this is i feel how they see you Someone that is um, has a lot of value. Someone that is um, steady. Queen of Pentacles and the Empress. They tend to be able to grow, uh, invest. Um, they technically don't need anybody else. Empress is also in a long-term commitment. You could be in a commitment, Scorpio, um, or this person could be in a commitment. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. I feel like this person wants to get on your level. Like It's almost like they know what you can bring to the table, so they're trying to bring something too. Some of you could work with this person. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. So that when they think about you, you think, oh, I really need to step it up. Seven of Pentacles, investment. This is all about working, investing, putting time, effort, and energy into something in order to see it grow. This is probably someone who they see your value and they know they have to contribute something, um, especially if they want a second chance and they want forever with you. I feel like you wouldn't just accept just anything. And they know that. I'm also picking up, it's almost like this person knows this is going to take time. Tell me about the tower. What happened here? What happened with this tower? Ten of Wands. I'm picturing like um, someone was trying to keep a, something together and it just, they weren't able to. Look at this person. It looks like they're about to drop these wands any second. All it takes is them to trip over something and it's all going to be over. Tell me about the tower. I'm also picking up this tower. Wow. Clar tower? Clarifying a tower. I'm also picking up that it's um, maybe this tower caused a burden, a weight, a baggage. You know, like it, it, it's, it weighed down this connection really... Um, I feel like this was a tower that couldn't be um, easily dealt with. I feel like this is something where whatever tower this was, like for example, if this was some sort of separation, a breakup possibly here, um, the baggage is so strong out of that that it's not so easy to just get back together because there's a lot of things to deal with. Tell me about this tower. Tell me more, please, about this tower. Three of Pentacles. Another card about work and effort. Also, three people here. Again, it's, I just, I'm picking up, like, whatever happened with this tower, someone's thinking, like, this is going to take a lot of work. I have the Queen of Cups. Yep, 
Queen of Cups reversed at the bottom. They really, um, this was a very heartbreaking situation and the King of Cups reversed at the bottom. Yeah, I feel like there was definitely some sort of um, disconnect between you. Both of you are upside down. You're not seeing each other, not on the same page. There's, there's, there's a disconnect here. It's not really working. Tell me about this Nine of Swords. If I could just get it together here. Tell me about this Nine of Swords. Reverse. This is someone that is potentially um, either, well, it could go both ways. I have to clarify, but typically it means that someone's able to see a way out of the situation or a light at the end of the tunnel. But here I have the star reversed. So I feel this is someone that's really uh, struggling. When this person thinks about you, they're struggling. They are possibly not sleeping well. Um, they probably are feeling like this is, you know, losing hope, feeling this is a hopeless situation. Temperance reverse, Sagittarius energy, something's not coming together. There's more time, more effort needed here to balance a situation. This person, it's like they know, like, um, it's like the odds are stacked against them. Five of Swords reverse because of the way things ended. They're thinking about the way things ended between you. They're thinking about how to reconcile, how to bring back balance, how to heal this connection. Right now, it feels like it's going to take a lot. Hmm. So what are their next actions going to be towards you? Let's see. I'm going to look at their next actions towards you. Wow, we have the use of cups at the bottom of the deck. They're nice. Um, we're going to look at their next actions towards you here in this reading. And then, oh no. Sorry, I was about to um, shuffle these the wrong way. Um, anyways, like I, like I was saying, I'm going to look at their next potential actions in this reading. So what are their next actions going to be towards Scorpio? What are their next actions going to be? Oh, wow. Wow, okay, we got the chariot. Cancer energy here. Someone could be coming to see you, to visit you. They could be traveling here. Um, I feel like this person's gonna travel. Maybe there's distance between you or this person has to like get in a car or Uber or something to come see you. Um, and then I have temperance again, but this time it's upright. Sagittarius energy here. This is someone that is coming, like they have a mission here, which is to try to make this work. And then the Six of Swords reverse. I feel like they're returning to you. Another card about travel. So I really feel like this person, their next steps are gonna be coming to see you or traveling to you in some way. Let's see, I'm gonna keep using this deck just cause I'm obsessed with it. I love it so much. Okay, tell me more about the chariot. Seven of Pentacles reverse. Tell me more about the chariot. It's almost like they are, um, their anxiety about what might not happen, about the fact that they're losing hope and this feels like a hopeless situation. It's almost like there's an anxiety here where someone is like anxious about something not happening, not working out. Maybe it's too late for them. And so that's going to like spur them to act. Tell me about the chariot. Four of cups reverse. Yeah, they think you're going to reject them possibly here or it's almost like they they this is all they can focus on. They can only focus on getting to you, getting to rebalancing this. This is all they care about right now. 
Tell me more about the chariot. I'm surprised I haven't gotten any cards about like communication or messages. Ten of Pentacles reverse. Queen of Swords reverse. Hmm. Page of Cups reverse. There's Mr. Communicator. Seven of Cups. So this person is really, okay, first of all, with the Ten of Swords, not Ten of Swords, Ten of Pentacles reverse. This person's probably having financial difficulty. Also with the Seven of Pentacles reverse, that could also be that this person, their bad investment led to a loss. Whatever invest, they might have invested in the wrong thing or the wrong person. Maybe they, um, they're, they made some sort of mistake. This could also be a broken commitment, but I have the Queen of Swords reverse, so it's almost like it's almost like this person. Tell me more about this Ten of Pentacles reverse. Tell me more about this Ten of Pentacles reverse, please. What is this about? The High Priestess reversed. Secret illusion being revealed. Something being said. Two of Swords reverse. What? Ace of Swords reverse. Okay, guys, so what I'm seeing here, I'm seeing something that, I'm seeing two things, and I'm trying to like wrap my my head around like how to, how to sum it up in a way that makes sense to you watching this because sometimes I get messages and it's like, okay, but how do I make that sound normal? <laughs> So I'm seeing this two ways. I, for some of you, this person I feel is leaving a commitment. 